Hello there, welcome to St Martin's Tea and Coffee Merchants. My name's Dane and I'm going to be talking today about the siphon. So, um, this is the Hario siphon and what you get when you purchase your siphon are these two glass chambers here. You've got an upper chamber and a lower chamber. Get your stand. Now this just clamps in here like this, so you just tighten that closed. Then get your upper stand which fits quite neatly in there. You also get a alcohol burner, a cloth filter, come back onto that, a coffee measure and stirrer, and a little holder for your upper glass chamber. So, quick note on the alcohol burner. Um, we don't actually like to use this here, uh, a couple of reasons. First of all, it doesn't get the water to brewing temperature quite quick enough for us, and also it leaves a bit of a sooty residue on the bottom. So we use a butane lighter. Um, if you are living in America or Japan, you may have seen a purpose-built halogen lamp uh, heater. They're fantastic little things. It looks amazing when it's brewing. Unfortunately, a bit tricky to get in the UK, so we stick with our butane lighter. Um, quick note on grind levels. We have three here. We have an cafetier grind, it's quite nice and coarse, you can see that. Got your espresso grind, very fine grind indeed. And this is the one that we use. It's somewhere in the middle, something like what you might be using for your drip or pour over. Um, but part of the beauty is this, that you can just experiment with it. So, to brew your coffee, we begin by filling the lower glass chamber with some water. And then you apply heat. So, whilst the water is getting to brewing temperature, what you want to do is insert the cloth filter into the upper chamber here. So, it's got a bit of a spring on, you want to make sure that this gets to the bottom of the chamber. We're then going to rest it in here, we're not going to insert it all the way so that when this does get to the brewing temperature it's not going to shoot its way up there. So, when the water gets to brewing temperature, you want to put the coffee in the top here. We use about 22 grams here, but it's really up to you what you, uh, how much coffee you want to use. You then want to insert this upper chamber into the bottom here, and this water should start shooting up to this upper chamber pretty quickly. You can see now it's beginning to fill this upper chamber, and the water's introduced into the coffee. So, I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. Now we give it one stir as it first introduces to the water to make sure those coffee grounds are suspended in the fluid. And then we leave it for about a minute or so to infuse. Now then, after your minute infusion, what you want to do is remove the heat source. And as this bottom chamber cools, the coffee's going to fall back down into the lower chamber. As it does that, you want to start stirring the coffee as well. It should take a few seconds. There we go. So, it's a lot of fun. And it does make for a fantastic cup of coffee. Uh, I've seen it done before actually, where uh, someone gets a dishcloth and they will wet it a little bit and they'll hold it on this lower chamber. And what that'll do is cool down that chamber. And in so doing, it pulls that coffee through a bit quicker. So, now that all the coffee's in that lower chamber, what you want to do is remove your upper chamber. So you carefully rock it from side to side just to loosen that grip. And then, Put it in the holder here, grab your cup, and pour. And there you have yourself one siphon brewed coffee. <laughs>